Okay, hi, good afternoon. Uh, to start with, uh, you know, I'll just try and crack a joke. Now, there's as many people in the panel, which is equal to as many people listening to us. So that's, that's like marketing gone wrong. Huh? So you should take care of it next time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, when the list was given, you know, the initial list, uh, Anurag was supposed to be uh, one of the speakers. And then I realized that Anurag with this kind of vintage in real estate and marketing, we can safely call him the uh, Peter Drucker or maybe, uh, or maybe, yeah, the Peter Drucker uh, or Philip Kotler of uh, real estate. And then I realized if I have the Philip Kotler of real estate sitting over here, then what will we talk? We will have to just listen and he will talk. But good that he is not here. I have no idea where Anurag is. Okay, so the topic is uh, sales and marketing. Sales you have just added in the, in the uh, collateral, it's marketing. Proven strategies for business growth. Now, in my opinion, and I could have personal opinions, right? In my opinion, I think the topic by itself is uh, not correct. Because in marketing, there cannot be a proven strategy. Because something which worked five years from now or something which worked 10 years from now might not be working now because the kind of speed at which the entire ecosystem is changing. Uh, you cannot say that, you know, apne, uh, you know a product, product launch kar rahe hai, to Times of India mein front page solar smart do, 500 calls aa jayenge, 500 uh, flats se big jayenge. If that was the strategy which worked 10 years uh, from now, that will not work now, right? So hence the topic that proven strategies of marketing for business growth by itself is incorrect. We would like to hence start with the premise then you know, what are the strategies in marketing that will work? That will work now in a changed scenario, that will work in the midterm scenario, which is five years from now, and what will work in 10 years from now or, uh, or beyond. Now, generally, you know, per, once we talk of marketing, uh, usually the mark may even from the developer point of view, I'm not saying that continues to be so, but uh, कि joint venture हो गया है, architect ने design बना लिया है, आप पैसे चाहिए, अब 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 marketing को involve करो, जाओ जाके माल बेचो। Now that is not marketing. Okay, 90% of sales people will say that आप करते क्या है, they will say अपने marketing करते हैं। Okay, that is not marketing. Now if you go to uh, you know Kotler's marketing, when we were students and we used to study marketing in our uh, post grad, uh, Philip Kotler had four P's. Product, pricing, promotion in place, and then someone added the fifth P, which nowadays is the most important P, which is the positioning. So, you know, when I was a student, I continued till five P's of marketing. Uske baad then we, I started to work, and then when I used to read uh, business magazines and stuff, then kabhi to seven P's ho ge, kabhi nine P's ho ge, but that is okay. Seven and nine P's are subsets of the first five P's, all right? So the five P's of marketing is product, price, promotion, place, and positioning. So hence, the role of marketing or marketing strategists or marketing executives like us does not start from after the product is built. Technically, if you are a smart uh, 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 strategist, you will involve marketing even before you have designed the product. Because the role of a marketer is to find out kya bikega, to fir aapko bechna hi parega, right? So from that premise, we have a set of experts in the panel, and uh, 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 I, I'd like to ask each one of them or whoever specializes in the topic that you know I'm going to raise, that uh, you know I'll, I'll throw the question, and whoever wants to take it first uh, can take it. And whoever wants to, uh, wants to take it second can take it later on. See, how do you think, what would you do to make your product or service different and not a me too? Okay. Anindo, uh, as you know, he is from Infinity. He, 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 I might say, is the largest occupier, uh, uh, sorry, a builder of office real estate in Calcutta. So he deals in commercial real estate. 
Manish Gaur is from Imami Royalty. They mostly, they also do commercial, but mostly do residential. Then Karyam Royalty, he is a real estate consultant. He used to be working for Trump. He sold Trump towers in Calcutta. Now he has a consulting firm on his own. Uh, Rahul runs a IT tech company, uh, which uh, propacity. Uh, then Rohan does uh, uh, digital marketing. And we have a friend from uh, Siliguri. He runs a uh, firm selling real estate and marketing real estate in, uh, out of uh, Bengal in Siliguri. So uh, with this background, what is it, Anindo, if you want to take this question, what is it that you will do that will not make your product a uh, me too? So, uh, you know, what has worked for uh, Infinity and as you correctly said, you know, those, um, the old ways and now the new ways, what, how do we, how we are marketing, you know, understanding the customer is the key. That's what we have felt over the days, you know, and that's the something which we uh, differentiate. Now the typical ways is like we wait and the, you know, the queries will come and the team will then handle it. Now, how we are differently doing it, like from uh, others, I feel that, you know, instead of depending on somebody else, I need to predict the market through my different, uh, you know, tools and technologies that what are the expansions which will come in the next three years. That level of research we need to focus upon and start, you know, building relationship with those kind of companies. If not now, they will come after one year. And we have to put in that effort, you know, on those kind of uh, strategies and that's how it will differentiate. And the product has to be good by no doubt. But understanding the customer, like for example, what KPMG was looking for five years back, now they're looking for something else. What I need to pitch when I do a informal meeting with them or doing over drinks, that is something, you know, uh, has started uh, uh, differentiating instead of typical traditional way of marketing, which has worked for us. Right. So what he wanted to in maybe a line that you have to figure out what the customer wants uh, now and what the customer would want three years or five years down the line and then accordingly make your product such that three years down the line when the building is delivered, it is in tune to what the customer is wanting then. Right. Okay, Manish, so, you know, in residential, what is it, what is it, what is Imami doing differently, which is uh, making Imami, if at all, uh, different from the other developers operating in the city? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Reality Plus and special thanks to you. Uh, before I answer this question, I am, uh, I was inducted yesterday evening for this program. Today morning, I was actually flying out for some business reasons out of the town, but Due to some reasons, I was chosen and I have to be here, for which I'm really very glad and thankful to ma'am for accommodating me at the last moment. Why I'm especially thanking you, sir, as you rightly said, when this topic was shared with me uh, today morning, sales and marketing proven strategies for business growth. So I started thinking, which one should I go and speak about? Um, my major experience has been into real estate, I've been in the north. So, talking about somewhere 2003 and 4, real estate sales and marketing was, I know these 20 investors, each one of them would give me 20 checks, hence the calculation of these 100 apartments it's sold. And it's done there. After that, as you rightly said, more players came in and the Times of India came in, Times Property Times came in, front page advertisements, getting 400 calls, selling 200 apartments. That has also worked and that is again a proven strategy. But yes, with time now, if you ask me even just a decade before, in 2014, he may uh, not like, real they may not like what I'm saying, I was absolutely against digital marketing. Because I thought it's not giving me any results. Somebody, what I thought, somebody making friends over Facebook is going to buy a property worth one CR from me on Facebook? So you please stay away. I was into traditional newspapers. I wanted to be physically present at airport, metros, where I can, you know, relate with the targeted audience. But yes, it has changed. So, 
thank you once again for saying and to all the listeners my colleagues maybe those who have started their careers believe me the thing that is correct today may not remain the same tomorrow yeah now coming back to the question is what i plan to do is not the right question i would tweak and twist a bit it is a mandate for me to do so uh, if it's a secret then you might not uh, share it here but if it's generic <laughs> then you can go no, ahead. no 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 i'm very proud to share this okay so i represent a group which has diversified business interests uh, the revenues are more than 30000 crores per annum and uh, by the god's grace the name imami i as a salesman or as a marketer need not to introduce myself anywhere to any customer even at pan india level somebody or other may have used uh, mera wo navratan thanda thanda cool cool you know my borovless cream so that is a job a ground that has already been created and served to me on platter when i joined this organization although a hard work for past 50 years and uh, especially in eastern india where most of our projects are and we are planning to come up big time in calcutta uh we have uh, frank ross every now and then you may buy medicines from there you have hospitals like amri and so on so what is the mandate and what is the strategy what we are doing different is when the board called me and uh, they said manish we hire you there is only one strategy i want most of the iconic celebrities of india have advertised for imami starting from shri amtab bachchan ji and going on salman khan karina kapoor so my board gave me a mandate that i want a real estate organization which is absolutely absolutely customer focused customer centric now this mandate is not only for a salesman or a marketer as manish gaur this mandate is for the entire organization starts from the youngest of the executive who's working with me going up to the board maybe an accountant maybe a lawyer maybe somebody from the projects team maybe somebody anyone anyone who's carrying a visiting card of imami reality has to live up to it because my board says they can pump in a huge amount of money in reality and tomorrow i can have 25 projects that's what it takes right definitely it takes a experienced team and by the god's grace we have a cosmopolitan team people from uh, all over india are part of imami reality my hr guy is from has come from dubai <laughs> so uh, as i said we have a cosmopolitan team so we have expertise but uh, now it is something which is not strategy it is something which is not marketing it is the culture that we are building in for everything any point of interaction with the customer we have a setup of tat if somebody sends an email the person who is receiving it with the use of technology software erps we are able to capture it and there has to be a response it could be a highly possible high possibility that may the response may not be up to the utmost satisfaction of the customer but yes if you ping imami within 5 hours i'm back on your mailbox so to sum it up he's saying that uh, his strategy is to uh, delight the customer so much and that is the differentiation that is part of the overall marketing strategy that i'll delight the customer so much and that is how i'll become different right so so in karyam reality you know uh, if there are 100 projects uh, in calcutta i'm sure there are more and there are uh, there are 500 firms trying to sell these 100 projects right you are one of them how do you what do you what do you think what is your strategy to uh, differentiate yourself from the rest of the gang <laughs> good afternoon everyone uh, abhijit what i would like to say over here is i would first like to add to what manish uh, just said so if you uh, analyze kolkata's market and divide them into four or five fragments 
uh, each fragment will have will definitely have some projects which have done very well and some which have not done that well uh, irrespective of the fact that all these projects were launched at the same time and had similar dna right what i think went wrong with the projects which could not do that great were not designed or made as per the, what the market demanded uh, with the help of shark tank we are listening to this word called product market fit very uh, commonly these days i think those products lacked product market fit uh, those were designed and made maybe for the ego of someone who was designing it uh, maybe some bad market research some bad market studies and then they kind of struggled for a long long time and you have these kind of examples in all corners of calcutta be it west calcutta be it north calcutta be it south be it central that's a national uh, thing happening yeah uh, and at the same time uh, when a project is being developed which is of a similar scale in a similar area by two or three developers uh, definitely the brand differentiates the project uh, second thing which i think differentiates the project more than anything else is what the customer takes away from his or her site visit the experience the delight that you give to the customer definitely differentiates and i think that is something which is here to stay we have mr shroff over here who uh, i think has created the best example of customer service customer delight customer experience otherwise 7 years back if someone told us that we'll sell 1000 apartments in a place called shirampur you would have kind of laughed but the kind of experience he created he kind of answered all the questions so a uh, right product market fit along with a great experience i think will always be here to stay uh, coming back to your question uh, so before uh, opening karyam with my friend amit uh, we i was working with trump and then before that with space group so i used to be on the chair where i used to be dealing with various other channel partners coming in for sales closure two things i would i would i felt that were not going in the best of the manner one is that the brokers channel partners with all due respect to each one of them were only trying to bring in the client to our desks not even kind of giving them proper orientation right i'm not talking about them telling them or briefing them about the minutest of details i am talking about basic orientation that if you are going into this project you are expecting a b c d they will Rest, set up the meeting yes. and leave it on to you yeah all right rest my team would definitely take care of but a customer coming in uh, expecting something absolutely which is not there on my plate so we felt that this was a big gap that we were facing as developers uh at the same time the customers were also feeling shocked at time embarrassed uh giving them commitments of wrong availability giving them commitments of wrong uh, delivery timelines uh rates prices so we thought that this is the biggest gap now there could be various reasons of uh, this scenario but what i think the most important reason was that their homework was not done and they were just trying to act as someone who kind of bring someone to your chair so when we opened karyam we spoke to various developers and the clients and we wanted to ask that what is your biggest pain point when you speak to a uh, channel partner or something so various uh, kind of options came to us that people don't tell us properly they don't know the details they have no information they come and speak about every property ha isme ho jayega usme ho jayega karwa denge ye flat bhi available hai wo bhi available hai rate bhi aisa hai so we kind of made a promise to ourselves that we will first not give any wrong information to any of our clients or the developers that if say i am trying to negotiate on a larger deal i will not give false hopes of price or payment schedule to my developers at the same time to the customers we would stick to whatever we have been told and accept the fact that if you don't know something of of the table tell them that sir i am not able to answer this question i'll find we'll out. we'll find out and get back to you so i think that was one thing that we kind of 
Yeah, please. And so in my opinion, that's an awesome identification of gap. That's, that's, and if you can actually fill it up and do it consistently, uh, you will really, really make a difference in the market. Let me tell you that there is a huge gap in this, right? So that, that's what will make you a consultant from a broker, if you can actually do that. And one more thing, uh, and I'm very painfully saying this, this practice over the years and maybe decades has kind of taken away all the respect that consultants Fair, should have been uh, that, 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 commanding. That's like a two hour kind of a session that we need to have one more <laughs> time. So going back to Rahul, uh, uh, you are a tech company trying to help real estate developers and other participants of the, if I am a developer, uh, why will I hire you? So what are you doing in your strategy to make yourself different? That's a very interesting question. I think first I would want to tell a little bit about why we exist. That is very important and then I link it up with the question that you have just asked. Um, my dad is a developer. Uh, my, I come from a typical Marwadi Baniya family um, which has been into steel over the last 40 years. I have seen a lot of problems when it comes to mid-sized developers which are and that can be extrapolated to small size and large size developers as well. And these are the primary problems that we are trying to solve with propacity. I thought that if I am able to solve it for my dad and there are so many people like him and so then we can change the entire industry. Like a lot of people and it is, it is very very important to look from a customer standpoint. What we, what we sometimes do not understand, the customer experience is completely derived by the experience that the developer has during selling the project as well as the experience of the broker while they are selling it. So unless and until the experience of the developer and the broker in the entire value chain is not strong, the customer experience is going to be really, really bad. A unhappy developer, an unhappy developer or an unhappy, unethical broker is definitely going to lead to a bad customer experience, right? So when we were building Propacity, we said that, hey, we will solve for the customers in a very different way. We will try to create an ecosystem that empowers developers as well as the brokers. How are we helping developers is primarily across three things. And this is where the differentiation lines between a great developer and a bad developer. One is positioning. Um, I was having a conversation with one of my colleagues this morning and he said something very interesting that earlier people used to buy property with logic and used to justify it with emotion, right? So log pehle logic lagakar property buy karte the, aur fir uske andar property ke saath ek emotion attach hota tha. Now people buy property with emotion and then justify it with logic. Unless and until it is not a story that is emotional, it is not a story that resonates with you, there is no chance that you would be able to sell the inventory that you are selling. So when it comes to a developer, we try to first understand what is the story behind the creator of this inventory. So we do not call our developers as developers, we call them as creators. Rather, I'm launching a podcast called Bharat Ke Builders because you are the ones which are building Bharat. You are the ones who are the creators of this entire economy, right? So what are you creating and what is the thought behind it? So we work with one of the veterans in this industry, um, Mr. Sushil sir, who has built this beautiful project, uh, Merlin Aquaville, right? And now it is one of the most beautiful projects that I have seen in my entire life. But there was a story that Mr. Sushil had, but that story was not resonating with the market and we invested all our heart and energy in creating a lot of content with respect to what does the residents in that society feel like? How can we bring that story out? How can we make sure that every nuance of that particular property is distilled into the right form of creators, the right kind of videos, the right kind of voiceovers, the right actors, everything packaged into one place so that it is positioned strongly and the idea of emotion then logic can be made. Second, when you create that kind of emotion, that's when you unlock distribution. Unless and until as a developer, you are not passionate and Brokers jaise bhi ho, aap unko eliminate nahi kar sakte. So if you have to become a really large developer, you have to elevate brokers and you cannot eliminate brokers. And unless and until you are a developer who is not passionate and who is not able to take your emotion to the market, you cannot unlock distribution. So that comes the second part where propacity comes in. Where we identified a massive gap. I completely agree with what he said that uh, brokers ko pata hi nahi hai 
और वो एक्सपीरियंस क्रिएट ही नहीं कर पाते वो डेवलपर्स के पास ले आते हैं एंड देन प्रॉमिस रॉन्ग बट इज देर एनी प्लेटफॉर्म दैट एस्टेब्लिश बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस फॉर द ब्रोकर्स अब डेवलपर्स के लिए रेरा आ गया डेवलपर्स के लिए क्रेडाई है नेरेट को है गिव मी दैट वन प्लेटफॉर्म दैट स्ट्रॉन्गली हेल्प ब्रोकर अब स्किल देर इज नन राइट सो वी लॉन्च समथिंग कॉल्ड एज अपैसिटी प्लस वेर वी क्रिएटेड content very vernacular in their language different cohorts in which we realize that these brokers need help they should know that if they are helping somebody invest their entire life savings then how should the entire experience be and we ended up realizing that why these 10000 brokers which are on our platform coming on to our platform every single day because their intent is to also grow and improve and evolve in scale right so that's where we help them match with the developers and trained brokers the idea is that somebody who's a broker which is powered by propacity has to be very different from a broker which is not powered by propacity because at the end of the day this is a person which is a, which is bridging the gap and taking a developer story to the customer so this person needs to be trained and third part which is technology as a developer your constant job is to fire yourself right if you are a developer and you started as someone who was doing all the 20 things that you were doing in your organization and after 10 years you are still doing all those 20 things that you are not a developer who is going to scale so how can we make sure that we create technology that is bite sized easily deployable is not fancy and is workable is something that we deeply emphasize upon that when we help you scale how can we make sure that the chaos that we bring to you with that scale can also be managed with the technology that we are creating so propacity the word comes from property plus velocity how we add velocity is with, is with this beautiful combination of deep story positioning trained distribution and technology that works is fast and easily deployable i think that's a good story if you can uh, execute it well i think there's a lot of depth uh, that you're talking of you've done that for 450 projects yeah. 18 cities and yeah. 70 uh, developers right. so you know that that reminds me you know i'll just take a detour with uh, your permission uh, we have uh, one startup two startup one uh, actually technically you know we have four entrepreneurs in this uh, uh, dais uh, i have been an ex two times entrepreneur uh i might not say a failed entrepreneur but then i have start tried doing larger things in wrong market much ahead of time but i have been an entrepreneur and there are entrepreneurs in the uh, in the uh, audience so i think uh if there were no entrepreneurs then people like us wouldn't have had jobs right so i think one one applause goes to all the entrepreneurs in this uh, in the dais and also in the uh, uh, you know uh, uh, audience Okay, uh, Rohan is one more startup. Now, Rohan, same question. You know, you are you you are a content startup trying to uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Content startup trying to help uh, real estate uh, uh, fraternity with your content. How are you different? What is the strategy for you? So, um, you know, we we are basically into digital marketing. Um, what we do is technology plus creative. Uh, plus obviously you know uh, content these three combined uh, we would not call ourselves a startup now i would say that we are quite established <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, firstly um, uh, i think the question is what what is the different that we do right so um, you know um, i would like to compare this to to like projects in real estate right that you want a project which has space which has probably you know all the, 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 you know it it has views it has space it has amenities and probably it has a very good location right so this is what we are we we are a digital marketing company um, which is having all access and you know a um, lot of experience by by handling google facebook uh, tabula so all these big media houses we are premier partners of these media houses so we get access to the best uh, you know uh, you, you know to, to to all the research studies we get access to all the tools we get all the support and we have professionals probably uh, probably 200 plus professionals working on this platform since about 7 to 8 years right that is one then we are also customized into real estate so you know it's 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 it, there are quite a few uh, i mean probably hardly any agencies who are customized into real estate plus they are 
actually a proper agency doing the general Google, Facebook, like how, how these multinational agencies would do. So that is, that is one thing where we are different. And the other thing also is that we are very integrated. So uh, what we do is we, 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 do, we do branding and performance marketing plus we do technology and we also do uh, content. So we do, we, we, we make video reels, we make ad films, we make mainline creatives. So this is how we are as integrated. So integrated plus quite, quite professional into digital marketing and also customized for real estate. So I'm sorry to do this to you, but then uh, one line, how, how are you different? I mean, uh, there are 1000 people doing the same thing. One line, how are you different? So uh, what we are customized. Now that we are discussing marketing, which will work. One line, what is your marketing strategy? So, so if, if you want to put it in this forum, we would be quite customized for real estate, but bringing all the best practices of, of digital marketing into the real estate space. Okay, okay Sanjay, uh, you know, 10 years from now, Calcutta was termed as a tier two market. Now I think we have become tier three. So I do not know what that makes Sanjay. He's from Siliguri. <laughs> but that, that, that's, that, that was just a joke. So, uh, Sanjay runs a real estate consulting firm in Siliguri. Uh, same question, what is your marketing strategy to make you different from the rest of the gang there? <laughs> okay, I'll cut this into two parts. First, um, uh, before that, I'd like to thank uh, Realty Plus for inviting somebody from Siliguri also. All through these years now, I've been sitting and seeing Realty Plus Awards East and every time it is about Kolkata, Kolkata, Kolkata. So, I thought that in East, there is something in Kolkata, so I thought that there is something in Siliguri. So when this time when they said that Sanjay you also come, I, it was like a eureka moment for me. Acha acha jana hai jana. So first point, how are we diff How are, I am different is because I am from Siliguri now. Very nice. How are we different? You know, how our journey started way back, I'll tell you, with uh, real good respect to everyone. Way back in the year 2004, when we were basically into loan syndication, where we were doing home loans for developers. So we were the leading in fact, for LIC housing finance, not only in Siliguri, North Bengal, but Pan India. We ranked among the number one DSS for LIC housing finance that time. That was the market share that LIC had in Siliguri. Shudipto Paul, I don't know where people have heard about him, he was there. So, one of our clients came to us and he said he had, give, he had seen an advertisement, newspaper advertisement, which, was, which is now something which is not very relevant. And he paid a developer around 3 lakh rupees, that time, 2004. Some way or the other, after that, he kept on chasing that developer. He was from Sikkim. Sikkim is a big market for our Siliguri developers. And somehow or the other, he could not get through that particular developer. He was known to us. So he used to keep coming to me and telling me, Ki bhaiya, dekhye na iska kuch ho sakta hai kya? Bhaiya, dekhye na iska kuch ho sakta hai kya? Unfortunately, we did not even know who the developer was. So we somewhere realized there was a big gap between a consumer and understanding which developer, which property, where they should be investing in. So way back in the year 2004, we sat down and thought and we built a website called SiligoryProperties.com. The basic purpose of bringing that particular website SiligoryProperties.com was to make reliable products, reliable projects, reliable developers be accessible to people at one place. So our thought that time was, if we could popularize SiliguriProperties.com in a manner that people could come and see and choose properties there, uh, then they would at least reach out to people who are reliable. Because we being in Siliguri, born and brought up in Siliguri, had some knowledge about the developers and the product, which might be for some reason or other end user, a person working in the remote corners of Sikkim might not be knowing. But unfortunately, for a long period of time, nobody came to the website. That was in 2004, Siliguri Properties, we tried to popularize it. But then we always thought about bringing some kind of an innovation with the customer centricity, how we are different from the other. So then we started our first uh, real estate brokering firm by the name of GFS Realtors. Wo a time tha jab developers brochure bhi nahi banate the. So once we achieve, reached out to one of the very prominent developer and told him ki bhaiya brochures banate hain na. He said brochures kya hota hai? Hamare to aise hi bikte hain. So just the way we were not in the organized sector, 
just the way the brokering business was not in the organized sector even the developers were not in the organized sector they did not have a team they did not have a right customer centric approach and all and so we thought there was a big gap so how do we bridge this gap how do we reach out to the so we went up to the developer and said ki we will try and take everything that you do other than developing the project for you means from a customer's point of view the customer needs help in the legal the customer needs help in the finance customer needs help in buying the properties so we will handle all this for you if a customer comes in and tries to understand the taxation purpose with the given background of chartered accountancy firm that we have been running for the last 21 years so we told them you give all these things to us aapke agreements hum banayenge aapke customers ke loan hum karayenge aur properties ke liye darkar padi to buyers bhi hum la ke aapko denge ye sare services hum aapko denge and for different services we'll charge you the basic purpose was try was that that the thought was there to let us make an effort to bring everything into organized sectors we could push a developer to get the brochure done he made the brochures but he never handed over the brochure to the customer because he always uh, he printed 200 brochures and then for every customer he kept the packet away and every customer aata brochure dikhata wo bolta theek hai brochure ko packet karta wapas rakh deta to uske mind pe ye tha ki brochure de dunga तो फिर वापस रिप्रिंट करना पड़ेगा सो वी हैव सीन दैट काइंड ऑफ एन अप्रोच व्हाई वी वांटेड टू फोर्स इन दिस ब्रोशर कॉन्सेप्ट वाज टू ब्रिंग इन मोर अकाउंटेबिलिटी आता था कस्टमर यूज टू बी टोल्ड 1500 स्क्वायर फीट ऑफ अपार्टमेंट नो डेफिनेशन क्या है 1500 कैसे है हाउ 1500 स्क्वायर फीट हैज कम अप एंड नथिंग नो ट्रांसपेरेंसी नॉट दैट दे वर चीटिंग नॉट दैट दे वर रॉन्ग बट द एंटायर मार्केट वाज दैट कि देयर वाज नो कांसेप्ट ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग ट्रांसपेरेंसी ऑन टू द कस्टमर्स टेबल Okay, this is what we are offering. This is what what it is going to be till the end. Slowly and slowly, things started to evolve. We matured. We became more organized. The developers being became more organized. How we remained different always was that we kept on innovating, trying to learn the best practices which were happening in the industry across the country and bringing it. Today, our main differentiator, I would say. is our customer centricity and our efforts that we have put towards increasing the customer engagement and understanding the customer's viewpoint like uh, rahul also said can and he kariam also say he also said was that ki customer ko kya chahiye we invest a lot of time with our team telling them you try to understand from the customer's point of view you try to give a product which is as per the requirement of the customer and you understand the developer you understand the properties well match them become a matchmaker for this and then you move towards the uh, selling we feel sales is a by product of the entire marketing activity that goes around but marketing has to be true it has to be customer centric it has to be with a view point that the customer should not come back and tell us one day that this is something wrong or this is something wrong information or wrong pitch that you have given us so that's where i think we differentiate from the other people over a period of time we have tried to bring some innovation learns the learn the best practices from across country and other places and try to bring it to siliguri also and we are slowly expanding out of siliguri also. which is a fair thought because we all travel the same uh, cycle in all our markets and uh, some of us have tried to do the same thing some of us gave it up field uh, you know midway some of us are continuing to do it so that's a good thought okay so we have another 20 minutes to go there is a timer here so i think we can do one more round and uh, instead of doing theoretical stuff uh, let's do something which is practical in the sense which we have done actually you know marketing is a lot of theory a lot of stuff we don't even uh, we talk but we don't do so uh, so the second question is each one of you in your real life you know 10 years 20 years 15 years whatever number years what is it that you have done one act from a marketing strategy point of view which altered the result that you know you were expecting 
one real life act from the marketing strategy point of view which altered the result which would mean that maybe you got the project which you were not supposed to get or you know something you gained because of applying that strategy and it also could be that you did apply the strategy but then the end result was not commensurate with what you were expecting it did not work out but you uh, you know executed that strategy real life no story no theory if you don't have an example then we can pass if you have an example then we can do okay so uh, anindo wants to take it first so anindo your experience yeah i think this is a wonderful question and what is uh, you know one real life thing what we have done in infinity uh, you know transforming you know that the team plays a very important role i feel at the end of the day the team what you know is the one who drives uh, the entire thing uh, earlier the hurdles what we were facing uh you know if i go some 10 years back or 5 years uh before you know the marketing team has to uh you know be after the the different departments in an organization like the it takes a lot of time i'm talking about the commercial real estate a lot of time goes with the uh with the legal department with my uh, with the with the onm department and all so the transformation which has worked you know real time so instead of uh that those departments will be there but within the marketing team even if it's a five member team and if i have specialist from all this five domains then my dependency on the other departments lesson is goes down and i can have a more quicker turnaround time to close the deal and i think that has worked fabulously uh so the team transformation so instead of going every time to my legal department if i have somebody who understands legal within the marketing team then my closures are faster for a fit out to happen because everyone demands only furnished office if every time i have to go to my projects department because they are tied up with other uh, priority work and for me it's a very initial stage and i have to talk to a customer if i have a specialist within my team within the marketing team who understands fit out then it becomes easy so like that you know um, the transformation of the team uh, in the recently what we have done and another thing we another another thing what we experiment what i have done i have stopped taking mbas and all you know fresh people non real estate background has worked wonders no baggages i think those are some of the strategies what has worked in infinity real time and has shown results um uh, you know that's what i wanted to share honestly very nice manish yeah thank you about i'll just take two minutes because i know we have spoken a lot i want to say pass to this question the reason behind it as we have discussed in the beginning every market every place every time has different strategies different techniques which work which may not work i as the marketer or the sales person would believe in going to the basics the piece that you have mentioned everybody knows that you not to talk about further always whatever you are doing keep on improving on that every day every week keep on analyzing there is no super strategies and uh, einsteins are very less you know hard to find at least i am not the one so i'll pass thank you so <clears throat> i would like to share one incident uh, that we faced in one of my companies i was working before uh, this was year 2015 16 and we were working on a project without taking names we were working on a project which was approximately 6 or 1 lakh square feet and uh, when the project was conceived the demand for larger apartments were there so a two bedroom would be in the range of say around 1200 or square feet a three bedroom would be 15 600 square feet and somewhere around this uh but since it was a larger project it took some time to get lo- get launched when the project kind of was getting matured the demand for these flat sizes were not there and people were looking for slightly smaller apartments uh so there was a time when all my smaller variants were sold out and we were left with uh, larger variants of three bedroom and two bedroom so we were facing issues that people were coming to the site liking the project liking everything about it except the sizes so uh we just came up with a i would call it a strategy but it was more of a uh 
smart move, I would like to say. So we went to all of our customers, those who had taken smaller two bedrooms and smaller three bedrooms, almost three years uh, back. We sent a very emotional note, uh, a very emotional note written to them that uh, thanks to you for being part of the project, you booked the project two, three years back. You must have definitely excelled in your life, which normally everybody does, you know, with uh, increments and appreciation happening. Uh, we would like to be partner in your growth. So if you want to expand your living area, you know, we are giving you a great discount. Please come to us, talk to us, take the extra area at the current rate. The previous area goes to you at the same rate. Now, this is a very common practice, by the way. If someone comes to you and wants to expand their apartment from a two to a three bedroom, this is a standard practice. This is, uh, this is not my invention, but we just kind of made it accessible to all of our customers. One, many customers don't know that they can upgrade their apartment. So it was something like a very good news to them. And what it helped us or would have helped us that we had ready clients for smaller apartments and bigger apartments would have got consumed. So this letter went out and it took some time for them to understand and come back to us. But our 80% inventory, which was the balance 80% inventory, got sold off and we were able to sell that, you know, the new inventory which we ha now had of smaller apartments in much faster pace. And the problem that we had of not being able to sell larger apartments was met very easily. Very yeah. nice. Right. So there are two things that I would want to talk about. One, um, while working with a lot of developers, one thing that I have realized that a lot of times developers don't know what could be the markets beyond the micro market that they are operating in, right? And sometimes the markets that they are not tapping upon have the potential of giving them a crazy premium, okay? I'll give you a small example. So we were working with a developer in BT Road, right? And this developer had been struggling for a very long time. New developer entering into the market. There is a ready to move in project. They are, sending, they are selling under construction. And they have tapped upon the entire micro market um, at a CPL cost per lead of close to about 2200 rupees. Right? And when we went in, and the, the clear instruction that was given to us was, we are happy to spend 30 lakhs, 40 lakhs a month. Bas kisi tarike se maal do. And we went to them and said, Ki, can you take the decision of not spending even a rupee for the next two months? Because there is a latent strategy that you have built. For sure, it is not a spend problem. It is a strategy problem that is not working for you. For the next one, one and a half months, we would want to understand what is going wrong. Right? We did that and we ended up understanding that it is not the project layouts which is a problem it is not the project location that is a problem it is that the story that they are selling is not something that is resonating with the customer because it's too boring and this developer is new emerging developer fresh in the market but this developer is not able to bring that out and tell to the people that hey this is my vision and this is what we want to talk about we went to the promoter and said that hey can we run an ad making you the actor of it and you just come into the ad and tell people that why are you building this project? And we do not want to run this particular product in the micro market that you are targeting, but 5-10 kilometers beyond it. The CPL went down from 2200 rupees to just 90 rupees. And from what they were generating close to about 10-15 leads a day, they started generating about 90 to 100 leads. The bookings went up by 30% and it was an amazing success. So. What I am trying to say and which is a learning that comes to everybody that see, aap market se bade nahi ho, hai? nobody is bigger than the market, chaya broker ho, chaya builder ho, uh, you are not bigger than the market and the market is ever changing and now when the market is changing you need to also understand how your lead generation mediums are changing. Now when you are thinking that where your lead generation mediums are changing and when you are looking at Facebook and Google, they run on a code, they run on an algorithm. So you need to understand what is working for that algorithm now. Now when you understand what is working for the algorithm now, create assets according to that. So that understanding and that live example of that one thing helped us improve so much across all the campaigns that we do for developers all across the country. 
Second thing is the plus platform that we are creating for brokers. That is something that is very, very dear to my heart. I want to create 10,000 real estate crorepatis by 2030. Uh, real estate consultants who can become real estate grower. It's a very big opportunity in real estate. I think it's not a big industry, it's not a big timing, it's not a big opportunity. And every real estate consultant has a golden age. There are many values to create for themselves, for developers, for customers. So that is something that is very important to me. And there are 100 more micro markets that are going to come up. What we ended up realizing is that we don't have to be the first one. We don't have to be the first one. We don't have to be the first one. What we ended up realizing is that what started as just a mere platform to help brokers, also became a platform that started generating a lot of data that started helping developers. So more than 10,000 conversations happen on Propacity Plus every single day, out of which 7,000 conversations get un are not catered. Like there are 7,000 people who are looking for supply that does not exist or there is some supply miscap. And then we started reaching out to our developers and said that, hey, uh, there is somebody in Bihar who wants to sell your property, but would you be able to launch it at a little lower carpet and this ticket size? Some of the developers started accepting those use cases, started launching inventory and saw a massive use case. So that is one. So if you really, if you're a developer or you're a broker, if you're a broker, then you should definitely become a part of the Propacity Plus platform. It's a beautiful platform. If you're a developer, just reach out to us and help us understand your market from a different latent perspective. Sometimes the live examples that we have been through will give you a new perspective, a new micro market that you can target that can give you a lower CPL and much higher returns. So that's it. Very nice. Putting that developer into the creative was a damn good idea, which Vijay Malia did during the initial days of Kingfisher. That gets a lot of personal uh, uh, touch for the consumer and uh, responsibility from the... Uh, you are the brand of Right, right. Yeah, but that, that's a good idea. I think uh, you should do this more often with more developers. Yeah, Rohan. Yeah, so um, uh, in, in terms of digital marketing and from a marketing stand, standpoint, so, um, you know, uh, there's not complete awareness of the power of digital, right? So uh, there are there's so much data available in digital marketing, like, um, you know, in, in terms of Google and Facebook, you, you, you know exactly where you spent, you know exactly which ad, which keyword you spent. You also can know that, um, you know, which, which location is it that you're getting your leads from, your, your clicks from. So uh, in that perspective, we have done three digital summits in this year. And, we had, and you know, that was completely organized by us. And, um, you know, we had 150 plus developers come in. This was done in Delhi, Bangalore, as well as in Pune. Uh, we'll be doing something in Kolkata maybe in the next financial year. So this is something that we did different. Um, it was a lot of knowledge sharing and we had Google come in, we had Facebook come in, we had Tabula come in, we had Spotify come in. So we work with all these partners. So that is uh, something that added a lot of value in terms of, um, you know, for the clients as well as, uh, you know, uh, kind of for us as, 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 as you know, the, the leaders in digital marketing uh, for, for real estate. So this is something we have done different and, um, um, you know, we, we this is this kind of a live live example yeah very nice sanjay well as i told you we we always have uh, felt the need for innovation and there are a number of moments uh, small small innovations that we have made it, an attempt to do and whenever it has worked uh, it has always given us a lot of happiness uh, so the first uh, I, I still recall the developer was discussing with us and that was the biggest project on that particular date. More than 400 flats he was about to launch. And he had no idea that The day when we went to his chamber to discuss about this, he was asking his employee, a 16 lakh ka apartment, ki tum le lega kya? He was trying to take feedback to his apartment as a big jayega kya. So when he told us ki he wanted to understand bikega any bikega, whether I get into this project or not, uh, we, we, we thought it to be an opportunity and we floated the idea give us the sole selling for this. Tab tak builder brokerage hi nahi deta tha and we, gave, we, we put in a proposal ki give us a sole selling for this. And we will decide the market where you want to market. We will decide the customers whom you need to target. We will do road shows. We will reach out to people. That was the time when we had to do road shows, reach out to people, telecall, those things. So somehow other he thought, thought and then he agreed. He agreed with the thought ki hoga to nahi. That was the level of his confidence. So he gave us that. That was the biggest project uh, of that particular time as a soul selling for the first time. And nobody understood soul selling kya hota hai. Uh, and then when we when people started aari, ye to khali yehi bechega. Then people reached out. Aap ye inko de diye, to aap hum log nahi bechenge. 
तो द डेवलपर रिस्ट आउट टू अस ही टोल्ड अस आप हम आपको दे दिया नाउ एवरीबॉडी इज सेइंग आप इनको दे दिया तो हम नहीं बेचेगा हम बोला आप उनको भी बोलिए बेचने लेट अस सी हाउ मच दे सेल एंड लेट अस सी हाउ मच वी सेल बिकॉज़ वी नो व्हाट दे वर डूइंग एंड वी 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 आर वी आर गेटिंग इनटू मार्केट विद अ स्ट्रेटजी रीचिंग आउट टू पीपल रीचिंग आउट टू द टारगेट कस्टमर्स इन डिफरेंट वे एंड एंड द प्रोडक्ट एंड द प्रोजेक्ट वेंट आउट टू बिकम अ सुपर डुपर सक्सेस by the time we reached out to uh, it is a learning experience i'll just go a bit stage and tell you by the time the project reached out to a sales of 70% developer ko lagne lag gaya ye maal to hum aise hi bech deta once the product is sold out wo theek ho natural hai wese to natural hai usko lagta hai ye to ye mere brand se hi bik jata hai ye lagta hai aise hi bik gaya so then he took up his one of his relatives and then he bought him and like we were gfs realtors he launched a company called rfs realtors and then he said ki ab to ye karenge kaam so i said okay there is no issue let them do hame kya jata we have already made an impact everybody has seen what we are doing by the time we got three more projects for soul selling so that was an experience what happened to the project later on is a different story but i want to tell is that that was a eureka moment and that is a moment that we felt very good about it and something and the latest one i'll tell you recently somebody told us about this whatsapp api so this was a new thing for us so we wanted to understand what's whatsapp api and we subscribed to that and we took the whatsapp api so there we created an automation with a list and we send it to a database of customers which was an uttarayan customers which is a high seg- high premium segment so one of the person started to interact in that whatsapp api to usko sare answers automatic mil rahe the raat ko 10 baje usko laga ye kaun reply kar raha hai इतने फास्ट फास्ट हमें रिप्लाई कैसे मिल रहा है एंड इज ट्रस्ट ऑन आवर कंपनी बिल्ट अप एंड ही क्लोज द डील द नेक्स्ट डे सो दिस वाज अनदर ऑफ दोज वेरी हैप्पी मोमेंट्स व्हिच वी वी फेल्ट कि वी वी डिड समथिंग न्यू व्हिच वाज नॉट हैपनिंग इन आवर डोमेन एंड वी गॉट द रिजल्ट्स इमीडिएटली सो वी फेल्ट हैप्पी अबाउट इट दिस इज व्हाट आई सो टॉकिंग ऑफ व्हाट्सएप एपीआई आई एम हैविंग अ ऑफल एक्सपीरियंस विद एचडीएफसी एयरको व्हाट्सएप एपीआई सो दैट रिमाइंडेड मी सो यू नो व्हेन यू गेट इनटू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इफ इट डजंट वर्क then the consumer gets even more irate so okay we are we are off time we just have around 4 minutes and uh, uh, being the moderator the problem is log bolte hain aur hame bulwana padta hai lekin mujhe bhi kuch bolne ka mann kiya to uh, you know mauka nahi milta hai lekin theek hai we will end with one of uh, you know i'll tell you two stories wherein i used marketing and created a huge impact at very low cost uh one and there there are several uh, you know examples in my life there are only 3 minutes so i'll tell you just two so when i left the job in jll uh, jll apni banaye the teen aadmi se chalu kiya 150 aadmi ho gaye and all that then i got bored and then i saw that you know there's a huge gap where you can create a, a domestic uh, you know consulting firm deliver the same service delivery of an ipc and cater to the 90% of the market wherein the ipcs were not catering to during that point of time 2009 2008 ki baat ho rahi hai so i left that i raised some money and then i opened a real estate consulting firm and i named it lemon grass okay so story number 1 ab us waqt pe startup kisi ko samajh mein nahi aata tha 2009 pe kolkata mein to startup samajh mein aata hi nahi tha bangalore bangalore mein chalu hua tha एन सी आर में देर वॉज ओनली वन स्टार्ट अप हू रेज अराउंड फिफ्टी मिलियन डॉलर सॉरी फिफ्टी करोड़ इंडिया होम्स इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सो एट में तो किसी को मालूम ही नहीं था और राहुल यादव एंड ऑल दैट वो जन्मे भी नहीं थे वो आई आई टी में ही थे उस वक्त पर शायद हाउसिंग वाले राहुल यादव सो आई आई रियलाइज दैट यू नो ये जो मैं जे एल एल का थप्पा लेके काम करता हूँ ये नया कंपनी लेवन क्रास इस अपने को इज्जत मिलेगा क्या यू नो विल द कंज्यूमर्स ट्रेक अस सीरियसली तो वॉट इज इट दैट आई नीड टू डू तो लेमन ग्रास का जो नाम था उसके ऊपर अपने लिख दिए हंड्रेड मैन ईयर्स ऑफ रियल एस्टेट एक्सपीरियंस कैसे क्योंकि मेरी उस वक्त पे करीब 18-20 साल के हो गई टोटल एक्सपीरियंस और हमारे जितने लोग थे ऐड करके मैं देखा यार कोई चैलेंज भी करता है तो सौ तो हो ही जाएगा ठीक है हंड्रेड मैन ईयर्स ऑफ रियल एस्टेट एक्सपीरियंस Now when and वो लोगों में सब जगह छापने लगा विजिटिंग कार्ड एंड ऑल दैट अब उस वक्त पे एज ए कंज्यूमर यू सी दी लोगो एंड यू जस्ट सी हंड्रेड मैन ईयर्स वो मैन आपके दिमाग में नहीं आता है आप देखते हंड्रेड ईयर्स ऑफ रियल एस्टेट एक्सपीरियंस एंड सडनली द परसेप्शन ऑफ द ब्रांड चेंजेस इन योर माइंड आपको लगता है ये सौ साल पुराना कंपनी है 
कम से कम दस पंद्रह बीस लोग हमको पूछा है कहाँ का कंपनी है सिंगापुर का कंपनी फ्रेंचाइजी लिए हो क्या राइट सो दैट इज हाउ यू क्रिएट परसेप्शन जस्ट बाय ट्वीकिंग दी लोगो अ लिटल बिट एंड यू नो मैन यर्स अगर कोई समझ भी गया मैन इवन देन द परसेप्शन दैट विल बी क्रिएटेड वुड बी वेरी नाइस ओके सो दैट स्टोरी नंबर वन स्टोरी नंबर टू इज टू डू विद द नेम ये मेरी पाँच या छः साल में वैन आई ट्राइड रेजिंग फंड एंड देन आई इट गॉट एक्वायर्ड कुशमन वेकफील्ड ऑल दैट टोटल कम से कम पचास से या साठ लोग मेरे से ये क्वेश्चन पूछे एंड वेरी बिग पावरफुल एजुकेटेड पीपल इंक्लूडिंग वेंचर फंड्स कि यार ये लेमन ग्रास नाम क्यों है माई आंसर ऑलवेज वॉज इसीलिए तो लोग कन्फ्यूज हो जाते थे इसीलिए मतलब ये क्या आंसर हुआ मैं बोला कि इसीलिए देखिए कार्ड में आठ रुपये का उस वक्त में मैं कार्ड छापता था एक चार पन्ने का एक कार्ड में आपको दिया उसके बाद मैं आपसे बात कर रहा हूँ आपने कार्ड में देखा लेमन ग्रास का नाम बात मेरे से आप अपने धंधे की कर रहे हैं लेकिन दिमाग में लोगों घुसा हुआ है कि लेमन ग्रास क्यों और इस इस कदर से घुसा हुआ है कि आप बात करते करते मुझे पूछ रहे हैं कि वाई लेमन ग्रास तो यानी मैं आठ रुपया खर्चा करके मेरी ब्रांड को आपके दिमाग में इस कदर घुसा दिया हूं कि आप भूलेंगे ही नहीं दैट इज वाई लेमन ग्रास सो हेन्स टू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑफ यू नो यूजिंग मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज टू क्रिएट इम्पैक्ट विच वर्क फॉर यू सो ना टाइम्स अप सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिस्निंग टू अस एंड आई डोंट थिंक एनी वन ओके 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 सो वी थैंक्स थैंक यू सो मच